the crosses that I've been carrying around the world. And let me give a little information about each of these crosses. Um, it's the, this cross right here, the, the whiter one, is the first cross. And this was the famous His Place cross. And you'll be able to see the holes in it. It was made from a cross beam of a big light pole. And it is super heavy, Chris Oat. And then it was broken in Joplin, Missouri, hit by a car. And we had to put steel in it. And it raised it up to 120 pounds. <laughs> oh, mercy. Uh, but this is the... The cross that we made hung up on the wall of his place, put floodlights on it, never thinking I would be carrying the cross around the world. But then carrying this cross in Hollywood and Sunset Boulevard in the 1969, Jesus said, take the cross, carry the cross across America. So this was the cross. And also, here is the chain. And... When I was on Sunset Boulevard, they evicted us from our building because they said our sign, God is love, was offensive, and our witness on the streets, we were right above a topless nightclub, and, and uh, I went out, we moved the cross out, I chained myself to the cross, uh, fasted and prayed for 28 days, and would only leave to go to the bathroom when the police were not around, and awakening broke out on Sunset Boulevard. So I was chained to the cross here, just drank water and Diet Coke, and, uh, and 28 days sitting at the foot of this cross. And then, within weeks of getting our new building, the Lord spoke to me and said, Now carry the cross across America. So it's kind of a step-by-step -step process. And I, the radical defiance with the chain uh, was a key part of God connecting me with the cross. So this cross went across America. Then in 19, that was 1970. 1971, I went to England, felt the Lord wanted me to carry the cross through the British Isles. And so this cross was so heavy till basically it took two of us to carry it, side, one side and the other side. And I knew the narrow roads in Britain and whatever, I couldn't continue to carry it sideways. Uh, so made this cross and this part of the cross beam uh, actually went around the world at the equator. The distance around the world at the equator this cross was carried, and you can see the difference of the wood here and this wood, and connect that with the broken pieces of the cross that I have in the other room, and you'll see that this piece made it around the world, but many, many other pieces that were here when the cross was broken. Uh, so this cross we carried till about 19, from 1971 to 1995, about 95, and, and was hit there in Guam. The cross was broke. Well, my neck was, they said it was broke, and then the x-ray showed it wasn't, and I believe God healed it. But anyway, our cross got banged up there, and... It was just so heavy. We were gone for over six months on that trip. And they started enforcing airline rules. And that was the cross. I mean, the weight had to be under 50 pounds and no bigger than six foot long. So this cross, as you can see, uh, extends up. It was longer, uh, just a bit longer than the... Uh, regulations and the Lord was merciful and said make another cross and this was the third cross and this cross we carried from 1995 uh, till 
2008, and it was this cross that we completed the distance around the world, including every nation and island group at that time, and this is the cross that was a part of the movie, the cross, when I was talking about it, it's got a lot of tape on it, uh, and this part right here is where the cross was cut out that we put in the cross in space that was launched into space and orbited the earth with the earth spinning under it, went over most of the earth with this piece cut out and then we uh, filled it in. And then after uh, 2008, uh, coinciding with the movie The Cross, the author blessed story, we made this cross, and this is the cross that I've been carrying since, and it's been in probably 35, 40 countries, this cross right here. So these are the four historic crosses that lay the foundation for all the witness, all the stories, all the experiences, and these are been my companions around the world and Jesus helped us make it every step. Wow. If you would like to know Jesus and invite him into your heart, please pray this prayer with me now. Dear God, I need you and as best as I know how, I give you my life. I believe Jesus died on the cross for my sins, arose from the dead and ascended into heaven. I repent of my sins and welcome Jesus into my heart to be my Lord and Saviour. Write my name in your book and make my home in heaven. I am not ashamed of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer and saving my soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.